The word kairos is an ancient Greek word, and it means the open moment. And to me, in the midst of the creative process is when kairos happens. That's that open-ended time um, in contrast to chronos, chronological time. It's that time when artists come together, when people come together, when children come together. It's when you forget about the time and um, magic happens. My name is Maria Genet, and I'm the director of Kairos Dance Theatre. Uh, Kairos Dance Theatre is an intergenerational dance company here in the Twin Cities. Uh, our age range is the youngest is two and the eldest um, is 101. I started Kairos uh, back in 1999. I thought, well, there are a lot of different ages in our community. Why not try something that includes more people in the dancing circle? We perform in nursing homes, at the library, Lake Harry at Bandshell. But I think the most powerful performances sometimes are the ones that are just in a nursing home or at a school where I bring all of us, all different ages, and we perform for this group of elders or young people in a school. And I realized that they'd never really seen all these ages dancing together and creating art together and creating beauty together. And um, it, it's, it's fun because people, there, there's this aha moment where, oh, I never imagined all these different ages dancing together. It's sometimes a challenge to get us all in one place with walkers and kids' school books and everything to just um, be able to focus in on a rehearsal. But when it happens, it's, um, there's a lot of Kairos time. I've developed this program with my colleagues um, called The Dancing Heart, Vital Elders Moving in Community. And it's a program that is led by professional artists, and it's this dance, music, and theater program that really engages people in learning the language of dance and storytelling and theater and being vitally engaged um, because the work is based in the context of their lives. Our partners at Ebenezer, which um, has uh, nursing homes and adult day programs, received a grant to bring the Dancing Heart into six sites a week. Um, and we're there, we, they're an hour and a half program, all taught by professional artists. It's been more than I imagined. People are dancing and telling stories. Family members and staff are going, I had no idea that um, this person had it still in them. I didn't know their stories. Um, look, they're dancing. Look, um, they've, we've created a musical together. So just this, this whole flowering of a community of people that I think we didn't realize that they were still there and had something to share. And one, two. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. <laughs> Ida Arbeid is 101 years old. She's been dancing since the early uh, 1930s. She began dancing with Helen Tamaris in New York City for the WPA Modern Dance Company, which performed on Broadway. We met Ida about three plus years ago. Her son called us up. She was living on her own in New York City at about age 98, 99, and he invited her to come and live here in St. Paul. I said, of course I want to meet her, and came over to meet her, and she's just this, you know, whippersnapper, firebrand. And I said, well, Ida, what about if we create something new together? And she goes, well, yes, she says, because I'm not about the past, I'm about the future. So that was the beginning, and we started showing up. I brought some of the professional dancers with me and a few elders, and we started coming on Fridays. And that's when I called Irv. <laughs> Irv Williams is a master jazz musician. He's 91. Working with Irv starting back in 2005 has been an extraordinary experience because he has so much music in his body brain and that he's willing to play with a modern dance company. That's been an extraordinary opportunity for us already. Oh my God. 
So then to have Irv's music expertise and Ida's dance expertise and kind of bring in Helen Tamaris along and Irv who worked with Ella Fitzgerald and that we all get to experience that intersection um, right now is I think very extraordinary. There is more and more evidence pointing to this idea of vital engagement as a way to live your life better and have better health outcomes. Because now we know when we are vitally engaged, when, and that's what happens, I think, in a dancing heart. That's what happens when we're performing together. No matter if the person engaged is 99 or two, as we're learning this dance pattern, we are making brain material. We're having chocolate for our brain. While we were at the nursing home for two years, every 12 weeks there were measurements taken of participants who were taking part in this weekly class. And we are seeing some very clear evidence that the impact, not only quantitatively, of people's lives, about those health outcomes, but also the quality of their lives. Because the arts can affect the quality of our lives in ways that we're still don't even know how to measure. It's, it's more than just entertainment. It's about vital engagement. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.